It's not hard to get lost in the deep subterranean world of Hollow Knight. And I mean that in more ways than one. The expansive catacombs of Hallow Nest have countless paths to explore and secrets to find. But more than that, it's rich with lore, history, and purpose that drew me into a 2D Metroidvania kingdom I wanted to uncover every inch of. The deeper I went, the more I was surprised at just how much content and freedom this game has to offer. In basically any direction, there are bosses to fight, upgrades to collect, and secrets to uncover. But what's truly captivating about exploring this long-dead kingdom is its atmosphere. Gorgeous art, beautiful music, and a million little details combine to give each area of the map a distinct sense of place. The lush and humid green path feels vastly different from the cold, dark caves of the Forgotten Crossroads, but they still feel like part of a cohesive world. Halonest's capital city, the City of Tears, is a metropolis in a huge cave where it's always raining. Ten hours after I first discovered it, I stumbled across the Blue Lake, a massive body of serene water positioned just above the underground city. Hollow Knight doesn't shove this connection in your face, it just lets you explore its world and piece together the history for yourself. Entering Hollow Nest for the first time is akin to being pushed out of a boat, making the first few hours a sink or swim experience as a result. I genuinely love that it's an unashamedly hard game that does a great job of silently teaching you how to play. But it still felt a little bit daunting to start, especially when death means having to fight your way back to your corpse to reclaim your money. Like any Metroidvania, your path options are gated behind things like ledges that are too high to reach, or gaps that are too far to jump until you find the necessary upgrades, like a dash or a wall climb. But there are enough options that don't result in dead ends to keep you exploring for quite a while. The combat in Hollow Knight is as satisfying as it is challenging, and it massively rewards patience and skill. Killing enemies is a matter of sharp timing, learning attack patterns, and finding safe moments to heal. You can find upgrades to raise your weapon damage or health, but more importantly, I just got better as I went. Equipable charms let you customize your playstyle as well. They range from small effects like extending your attack distance or gathering more soul to large changes, like swapping your soul blast for a shotgun burst of maggots. Thankfully, you can freely swap charms whenever you sit at a bench, which serve as Hollow Knight's save points. That meant I could come up with specific charm loadouts for different scenarios on the fly, be it wanting to collect more money, move faster, or take down a particularly tricky boss. Never felt like there was a wrong choice here, just different strategies. And if any situation will push you to test those choices out, it will likely be one of Hollow Knight's dozens of big boss fights. They range from small and agile enemies to large, deadly brutes. These contained challenges are some of the best thrills available, and some of the hardest, too. But if you get frustrated, you can always just wander down a different path and try again later. A staggering amount of Hollow Knight's best content is entirely optional, but none of it feels like filler. You could probably beat the campaign without seeing two-thirds of what Hollow Knight has to offer, but the 30-plus hours it took me to reach an alternate and much better ending showed me almost all of it. Having so much to do at any given time can occasionally be overwhelming, but there's very rarely a right or wrong choice, making it unlikely two players will explore these caves in the same order. Hollow Knight is a metroidvania with a well of content that's as deep as its labyrinthine caves. The world of Hollow Nest is filled with a compelling story for you to discover on your own, and built with branching paths that offer an absurd amount of choice in how you go about discovering it. With such a high density of secrets to find and fun, challenging enemies to face, it's worth spending every moment you can in Hollow Knight. For more great Metroidvanias, check out our reviews of Bloodstained Curse of the Moon or Yoku's Island Express. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.